Well, Tavern certainly found his range straight in the game. Three consecutive 140s from Tavern against the throw. Klassen not, not found his range yet. 81 for Tavern, he'll come down for trouble 19 or trouble 15. He certainly sent out a message, hasn't he, in this first leg, Alan Tavern. He's missed the big 20, that was disappointing. <laughs> Three consecutive 140s, and he, he rather made a mess of that. Yeah, knows he's got a bit of time. You can't mess about too long with this fella. So, Tavern, probably go for 11 double top. He might come for 19, yeah, he's down for 19, so double 16 for the first leg. And sweet as a nut. First gap in that double, and the first leg to the Saint. Good start by Tavern. Scored very well in that leg. Three consecutive 140s. 14 dart leg. Not a bad start. Well, the winner will take on either James Wade or Peter Manley in the quarterfinals. And they are the next match on here. Saturday night at the Sudbahn off in Frankfurt. And at the end of the night, we'll know our eight quarter-finalists. But uh, Tabern has made a really good start. Baxter against Thornton. He's confirmed one of our quarter-finals. Lewis will play Barneveld or Priestley. And the rest of the story will unfold over the next four hours or so. Yeah, this European Championship thrown some very good games together. This no different. We expected it to be a good one. P the PDC now brings... The biggest players in the world, the biggest tournaments in the world, and their biggest prize money. I see one. Just not quite happening at the moment for Yella Klassen. Well, we mentioned it early on. Best of 17, you do have a little bit more time than you would in a best of nine to get your act together. One. Maybe reel off two or three legs, but you can't give Alan Tavern a big start. Well, we saw it earlier on, didn't we? I mean, Mensor Sulevich put it up a brilliant display against Robert Thornton. Wow. That's better from Prasson. Sulevich 7-5 up, and Thornton won four consecutive legs to, uh, to snatch the win. So, 120 here, needs the treble. So, Klassen is going to get a chance here to break straight back. Well, again, Tavern missed the big 20 there. But Klassen moving in on 80. Two darts at double 10. Double five back up, Game and he's hit it with the last start. So, one apiece, back to parity. So that'll settle down. Yelay Klassen took the leg against the throw after a fabulous start in that first leg by Tavern. Well, done wonders for his confidence, hasn't it? Just winning that leg. Took a little time to settle. But these two will rattle along. I mean, Klassen, the quickest player. Probably along with Vincent van der Voort in the world of darts, but uh, Tabern gets on with it as well. And here comes Klassen. Oh, yeah, Klassen lost a few times on TV to Vincent van der Voort. Bit of an Achilles heel. Lost to him in the World Championships first round. Two of the fastest players on the circuit. As soon as the referee shouted game on, he was shouting game shot. Well, a lot riding on this for Yellow Klassen. 35 in the world, but if he wins this, he goes up to number 31 in the world, which, of course, at the moment, will guarantee himself a, a spot at the Alexandra Palace in the World Championships, come what may. Yeah, yeah a lot to play for there. It's guaranteed £5,000 in the first round. Well, tried to tidy up there, but he's a long way ahead in this leg. Tabin started off well, scoring just let him down. So he needs a few more of those in the lipstick. 100. Yeah, so for 2 1 Klassen here. One dart at double 16. 56. But no pressure on that. Tabin way back. In the last two legs, Tabin's average has dropped 10 points. His scoring is disappointed. The odd slack dart, just like that one. Well, seemed to pull yeah, that last one as there. Bit of a jockey Wilson jerk. Wins the first leg with the throw and goes two on ahead. 
Tavern. Seems to have lost his line just a little bit. Well, it's interesting, Alan. I was talking to him just 20 minutes or so ago in the practice room, and he was bemoaning the fact that he'd been he'd been throwing at the practice ball for half an hour and just couldn't wow. hit a thing. <laughs> couldn't hit a treble, couldn't hit a double, and he was hoping that uh, the reverse effect would happen when he got up onto the board. It did in the first leg, but he's struggled since then. Wow. Well, you know as a player, when you first go on that stage, all you want to do is start hitting the treble early, and he did. But since then, Klassen's taken over wow. and scoring like that. Almost 100 ahead. So Tavern a lot of work to do. Doesn't want to give Klassen too much distance. Yeah, impressive now from the Dutchman. And uh, Tavern just losing the range, isn't he? Well, Klassen well and truly stolen the darts here. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. Fabulous darts from Yellow Klassen. What about this? A possible 11 darter here against the throw after losing the first leg. This is impressive. He was on fire against Colin Lloyd in the first round. This is just as good at the moment. It certainly is. And moving in on 47. Double 16. Double 8. And he's heading with the second down of the double. They go 3 1 ahead. And Tavern's got some work to do now. I've got to say that, you know, we're in a pr privileged position of being able to watch nice. darts all around the world, but Klassen is one guy I would pay to go and see. Well, his name's Klassen, and he's certainly class. You don't win the World Championship for nothing. You don't win it in a raffle. You have to earn it. But now, back on the PDC circuit, he's with the big boys. Nice. What a transformation, you know. Very, very slow in that first leg. But it bears out what I say. He's very much a confidence player. He, he broke back straight away. An impressive second leg. And since then, it, it, it's been one way traffic. Well, the say swings in roundabouts. Well, that's two from Klassen. Another oh. one. His second one, 18. He's certainly hitting the button. His average now over 100, Yella Klassen. And at the moment, Alan Tabern has no answer. Well, finish for Klassen. It'll be quick if he hits it. Well, single 17. If he hits a treble, it's double eight. Double eight. And that was as quick. I wouldn't like to be in the firing squad. 4-1 ahead of the break from Klassen. Yeah, absolutely terrific performance from Yella Klassen. 101 average, four consecutive legs. Well, in the blink of an eye, he has got control of this match. Brilliant from the Dutchman. Describe for us what transpired at the location. This isn't going to go how you want it to. A brutal crime. The men who were killed were under your brother's command. A powerful bond. Feingold killed our guys. She says it was a cop. She said it was Jimmy. An unthinkable choice. They were protecting their own and they were burying the truth. A guy like this could tear apart the entire department. You got anything you want to say to me? I will not apologize for doing what I do. You have lost your mind. Pride and glory. Got the Mail on Sunday presents Sleeping, walking, living, Cliff Richard Congratulations and celebrations 50 years of hits chosen by Cliff himself On one amazing collector's CD Get my 50th anniversary CD free only Day three of the Thank European you. Championship here in Frankfurt, and uh, Alan Tabern has a few problems. We're seeing Jelle Klassen produce something like his very, very best here. The Dutchman, after losing the first leg, is 4-1 up against Tabern with an average of 101. 